Hey everyone, uh, today we're going to take a short break from the single pin picking to talk about uh, these tools, which are called comb picks. Uh, and they exploit a certain flaw that used to be very common in a lot of pin tumbler locks, stopped being so common, but it still exists in a lot of currently manufactured solid body uh, padlocks, even this Abus 55. But uh, I find that it's easiest in the Master uh, 140 series. Now, if you know much about the, the uh, concept of how these locks are constructed, it's kind of easy to see where the vulnerability is. And that is, these uh, lock bodies are just cast as a solid piece and then milled down uh, to accept all the different parts. And hopefully you can just about make out where there's some circular discoloration. Come on, focus. Work with me here. There we go. So there doesn't show up terribly well on camera, but there are these little circular spots uh, on the side of the body. And those are where, during manufacturing, this one hopefully shows up. There you go. Now those little circles are where end caps were fitted over the holes that were drilled to accept the pin stacks uh, going into the cylinder there. And what this means is that usually those end caps are not terribly thick. They're press fitted and they're, they're in there really good. So, you know, unless you're going to actually drill the thing out again, uh, you're not going to pull them out, but they are thin enough that all of this extra space in the body, that they, they have all of this extra space in the body behind the pin stacks. So what you can do is you find, you have to figure out the number of uh, pins and their approximate spacing within the lock. And that's the tricky bit. And then once you do that, you select the correct tool. In this case, I know that all of these locks are four pins, and I know which end of this tool because it has diff slightly different spacing and sizing on each end. You're going to slide it in there, try to line up each of those little tines with a pin stack and then you just push up and if you got it right, there we go, you'll see that we rise all the way to the uh, end of the keyway there and then you can just turn, and there you go, pops open. And we can keep doing that down the line here. Now all of these uh, master locks have the same number of pins, the same core, so I can just keep going with that one, with that same tool. Come on, cooperate, there we go. I can just keep going down the line here. Uh, that exact same tool, just having to make sure that I get those pin stacks lined up. And it doesn't matter whether it's aluminum or brass or whatever, it's solid body, and that's where you're likely to encounter this vulnerability because of the way they cap the ends. Even, uh, even this Abus here. Very uh, decent lock for uh, what it is. You now it's only a 40 millimeter brass solid body with four pins in it, so it's not you know super high security, but it's enough to stop someone from just sliding a rake in. Even that, even though it it does take slightly more work to line everything up and get the tool inserted fully, but then. What about this guy, this uh, Master Lock 130? It's only 30 millimeters, it's a bit smaller, right? You can see if I put them right next to each other. That smaller body is going to make a difference for us with this tool. So we can still fit the, the comb in there, but we can't get it up into the pin stacks. Not all the way, anyway. You see, it's 
forcing me in at, a, at an angle like this because some of the pins are short enough but most of them are long enough that we can't actually push them entirely out of the lock. So we're not going to get through that. But these larger, generally at least 40 millimeter wide or larger, as long as the keyway isn't too paracentric, you can usually, uh, at least frequently, particularly with cheaper uh, solid body padlocks, use these tools successfully. Uh, now I'm going on five minutes and I'm droning a bit, so we're going to call that good for today. That's what, five padlocks opened in uh, about as many minutes. So happy picking everyone and uh, stay safe the, for the holidays.